Well, hello, everybody, and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, July 26th, 2022, at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And this is Lisa Freeman from StampinWithLisa.com <clears throat> coming to you live on YouTube. And I see we've already got a few people watching, so say hello. And... Um, Let's see what we're gonna make tonight. It's really cool. It is a gift bag. <clears throat> Got a little frog in my throat. It is a gift bag with cards. So there's four cards and four envelopes that fit in this bag. And this is one of the new treat bags, the scalloped treat bags in the back of the big catalog. So I'm gonna show you what page they're on in just a second after we get a bunch of people on here. Hey, Lorraine. Hey, Terry. We got a a huge thunderstorm today, but it did not cool down. It is still like 95 degrees outside. And I think it's going to be, it was 100 yesterday. And I think it's going to be like 95 tomorrow and 97, 98. It's really hot. And now it's really muggy. So it's a yucky day. It was pretty nice out earlier, but now it's just muggy and, and humid and hot. Um, thanks, Terry. Thanks, Sherry. Hey, Leticia. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Amy. How is everybody doing? It has been a long day. I had to work all day today, so <clears throat> I'm going out of town this weekend to visit one of my downline, and she, uh, we're doing a little stampin' retreat thing, and so on Thursday, my video will be earlier and then I won't have a video Saturday, so you guys are going to have to do date night without me or just watch one of my old ones. <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Bling Bling. I think that's Jilly Bling. Liz, Robin. What? 75 in Pennsylvania. I need to go there. We haven't had 75 in about a month. Yep, no date night with Lisa on Saturday. Um, she is doing better. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Stephanie. All right, so if you're just tuning in, this is what we're making. It's the new scallop treat bags, and you can fit four cards and four envelopes inside of it. So it is perfect for doing our cards and sticking them in here. You got to kind of... Um, put the cards like on half of it and to get the little um, indention there you got to put like half the cards on one side and half the cards on the other side um, or else it kind of sticks out more like that so it does fit four cards and four envelopes though I've got three in there and then the extra one is here so this is what we're making I'm just making one card and then the bag but the four cards are all exactly the same so you just need to make um, one of them and I just realized I never colored this little flower right here somehow I missed this one so let me do that real quick because this should be purple well fresh freesia so let me do that really fast so you can see exactly what it looks like because it should match this one all right so we're gonna make one of these cards even though there are four so that's why I put four of everything but I figured that would take too long to make all four so um, we're just gonna make the one and then you can make the other three and then the front of the bag. So it's super easy. We just did this in my class the other day. Hey, Beth. Um, catching me live for a change. Hey, Anna. Yes, Denise, I am live. Thanks, Robin. All right, so we've got a bunch of people on. We're up to 62 already. Oh my gosh, in four minutes, that's good. All right, <clears throat> so let me show you what we're using. We've got the Cottage Rose stamp set and dies. So they come with the dies and we're using one of them today. And then we're also using the fern embossing folder to do um, the background here for the cards. And then we're also using these treat bags. So you get 10 of these, they're embossed treat bags. I thought they were called scalloped embossed. I mean, not scalloped. Oh, you know what, they're stripes. I keep saying scalloped. Okay, they're just embossed treat bags. I guess they're just striped embossed. 
I don't know why I'm saying scalloped. Okay, I'm having a brain fart. My brain is fried. It has been a long day. I've been at work since like 7.15 this morning. And I just got home about 30 minutes ago. So it has been crazy. And we're doing a million school physicals and sport physicals like all day, all day, all day. Every single person that seemed like that came in was doing a physical. And I was just like, ugh, my brain was fried. So you get 10 of these in a pack for, let me look. Hold on. They're in here somewhere. All right, they're in the big catalog. So this is the actual stamp set. Let me get that out of the way. Um, it's the Abigail Rose Suite on page 56, 57. So this is page 57, the actual stamp set. And then the dies, um, it comes as a bundle. And then on page 140, I've got the bags here. So hopefully you can see them. So it's embossed treat bags. And it's 10 bags, four and three quarters by six and a half by one and a half. And it says there's an example on page 55. So let me look at that. Let's see. Oh, huh. how'd they get it yellow? Oh, they spritzed it. Ah, interesting. I never even thought about that. Hmm. Okay, so that's where you get the bags from. And they are perfect for holding our cards. So this is what we're making. If you just tuned in, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we're not going to talk about my weekend because it was a big mess. <laughs> so <laughs> let's not even talk about it tonight. <laughs> I'll talk about it another day because right now I'm, I'm just trying not to think about it. All right, so let me show you what we're using for this. So we got, we've got our bag here. So you need the embossed treat bag, one of those. And then one piece of three and a half by three and a half balmy blue. And then four and a quarter by three white. So this is just for the bag. So let me do two screenshots for you. So we've got this part right here is for the bag. If you want to take a screenshot of that. And then I'll do a screenshot of the card. Somehow I'm crooked here. All right, so that's for the bag. And then this one is for the card. So for the card, you need five and a half by eight and a half balmy blue, four pieces of those. If you want to make the whole thing. We're just gonna do the one, but if you wanna do all of them, you need four. Five and a half, quarter by four white. This is for the inside of the card, which is, oops, I didn't do the inside of that one. I'll have to show you when we get to it. Um, somehow I grabbed the one card that wasn't finished. <laughs> all right, so five and a quarter by four embossed, and this is embossed with the fern, four of those. Four by two and three quarters balmy blue, four of those, and two and a half, by three and three quarters of the white scalloped contour die. And that's four of those two. So four of everything for the inside of the bag. All right, and oops, let me put the card here for you. I can't fit it on my screen. Hopefully that will fit. And then you can get a screenshot of it. Can you put, oh yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> Just saw that, Amy. Yes, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Yes, like and share and all that stuff too. All right, so hopefully you got a screenshot of that. And let's get started. So this was my class last week with my girls. And we did our little potluck and all that stuff and it was so much fun. All right, so let's start with this piece right here. So we're gonna stamp on that in black. And we're using Memento Black. And I like to ink these up upside down. So just tap that all over. And then you're just gonna stamp this right in the center and probably a little bit is gonna go off the page. Oops, let's do it this way. The top part will go off a little bit. So give it a good press. And there you go. So there we go. We just missed the little top part came off, but that's all right. And you know what? While I have this out, I'm going to go ahead and stamp it on my, this is the four and a quarter by three white that goes on the front of the bag. We'll go ahead and color them at the same time. So ink that up. 
And then that'll go on here. And this one doesn't matter because this one's getting cut out or die, die cut. As long as it fits on here. Okay. All right, so there we go. So those are done. And now what we're gonna do is color. So I've got some of the Stampin' Blends and I've also got my ink pad, my Balmy Blue ink pad. So let me put this under here just so I don't mess up my spot. So I'm gonna do the leaves. Well, actually, let's do the purple flowers first. So this is Light Fresh Freesia and I'm just gonna use the small tip, the little teeny one because this only takes a second because they're so small. And if we were doing all of these cards, it would take a while. So that's why we're just doing, gonna do one. But you can make four of them yourself. So that's the little flowers. And I just put something under this because it does um, go through the paper sometimes, the Stampin' Blends, the ink bleeds through. All right, so that's the purple flower. And then for the leaves, we're gonna do um, soft sea foam only because I couldn't find my mint macaron. That's what I really wanted to use, but I couldn't find it. So we've got light and dark. So I'm gonna start with the light and just color the whole entire leaf. If you have mint macaron, you can use that too. And I think it would be even a little bit better, but I um, somehow have lost my mint macaron blends. So I had to order another set. So we'll do all of these with the light and then go back over with the dark. And then just color kind of the, little, the veins of it. So I'm gonna go right down the ends and just put a little bit, I mean right down the middle, sorry, and go. And it's not really that much darker, but it gives it a little bit more color. a little bit because soft sea foam is so light anyway I, that's why I really wanted mint macaron but unfortunately I don't know what I did with mine so I'm sure it's in a box somewhere and if you just turn um, tuned in late I um, will be on earlier on Thursday because I'm going out of town to see one of my downline and we're having a little stamping thing this weekend just a girls weekend and so I'm leaving. So um, I will not be on Saturday night for date night with Lisa, but you guys can always go back and rewatch one of my other ones that I did before. All right, so that's the leaves. Now the easiest part of this is actually doing the blending. So we're gonna be using the sponge dauber and the balmy blue ink pad. And then all you're gonna do is start with the center and dab it right on the center and then just kind of blend it around. So it'll be lighter going out. So the center is kind of dark, but the rest of it is pretty light. And there you go. So how easy is that to color? Super duper easy. And then we're gonna do the same thing. So dark in the middle and then just go out with the light. Okay, and then the one that's on here, I think I want it just a little bit more. You can make it darker, darker, um, darker if you want to. All right, so this one gets cut out with the die cut. So we've got the die that matches this. And we're gonna go put it like this. And guess what I forgot to do? <laughs> I was supposed to die cut before I colored it. <laughs> All right, so by magic of TV, voila, it gets cut out and I didn't color this one. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna really quick color. Oops, wait a minute. Let's do that again really quick. At least I already did the purple part. I started coloring it and then I just got sidetracked because I only had like 15 minutes before I started this video. Um to get this done. All right, let me do the leaves real fast while I read some comments, hold on. Let's see. Hello, 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 everybody. Let's see. 
You know who I don't see on here is Debbie Spicer. Where is Miss Debbie Spicer? Denise said she would love a tour of my stamp room <laughs> and share some organizational ideas. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> if you saw my stamp room, you would laugh because it's a mess. It is, uh, I'm one of those people that buys all these organizing things and then they sit empty because I never get around to actually organizing. So I have all these bins and plastic organizers and um, I just realized that leaf right there got cut off. I accidentally hit, uh, I must've put it in there crooked. So let's just kind of fix that one a little bit. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna take the dark one real quick and put a little bit of dark. And, oh, I do have a, a joke for you. I watched this guy, he's this um, really funny comedian. His name is Big Duke, like B-I-G-G-D-U-K-E. And he's on YouTube, and he is really funny. But the funniest part is the way he tells it. And, and I probably can't tell it as funny as he does. But one of his videos was really funny. All right, so these two are done. So we're going to set that aside. And then we're going to sponge this one with our blending brush. So I'm just going to grab some Balmy Blue, and we're going to sponge it. You don't have to worry about the middle part too much because it's going to be covered. So just do the edges all the way around. And it just really makes these ferns pop. And I think I might take this project with me this weekend so the girls can make it too. All right, so there we go. And then this part right here will cover that middle so we don't have to do any more than that. All right, and then we need our inside of our card, which is gonna be this right here. So we're just gonna put that right there. And then also on this piece right here, the blue one, we're gonna do that too. So we're gonna take this and just put one all the way around like each corner. And there you go. So I think we are done stamping. So let me tell you the joke. So it's really funny, but I can't tell it as funny as the guy who was on the YouTube channel. All right, so let's do the bag first. So what I did, I don't know if you can see that, I kind of curled up the edges. So I, I did, it's easier to do, I think, once you glue it down, but we're just gonna do it right now. Okay, so this lady, was having a baby and she had to have an emergency C-section. So they had to call the ambulance and rush her to the hospital. And while they were doing the um, surgery, she went into a coma and she delivered the babies. And she was only supposed to have one baby. And then, so what happened was she woke up a couple months later out of the coma and the doctor was there and she's like, doctor, doctor, how long have I been asleep? And he was like, for two months. And she's like, oh my God, oh my God, what happened to my baby? And he goes, well, really, you had two babies. And she was like, what? And she's like, I thought I was just having a little girl. And he said, well, you had the little girl, but then there was a, another one hiding behind the girl. So you had a boy and a girl. And we're gonna glue this on with the green glue. So she said, oh my God, what happened to them? Where are they? And she goes, oh, don't worry, it's okay. Your brother um, came and he has been taking care of them. And she goes, oh my gosh. She said, my brother, he's, he's slow. He can't um, take care of kids. And the doctor was like, don't worry, he's fine. He's been doing a good job taking care of the kids. And um, he, he said, he named him and everything. And the lady goes, oh my gosh, what did he name them? She said, I can only imagine. And he said, well... He named the girl Denise, and she said, oh, that's so good. I love that name. That's my mom's name. And she goes, well, what did he name the little boy? And she said, he, the doctor says, the nephew. <laughs> Denise and the nephew. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> All right, so the one that we 
have already done. What did I do with my flowers? Here they go. So this one gets on the front with some dimensionals. I thought that was cute. But the guy told it better than I did. Because you had to watch him say it with his facial expressions. But it was funny. All right, so put a bunch of dimensionals on here. And <laughs> I thought that was a good one. <laughs> So anyway, that's my joke. I do have another one that Debbie Spicy, Debbie Spicer sent me, if you wanna hear that one too. So we're gonna put this right in the middle and then we're gonna do a little bow with our white crinkled seam binding ribbon. Do you guys wanna hear the other joke I got or you wanna wait till next time for that one? Can you handle two jokes in the same video? Uh, love my jokes. That was cute. Oh. Oh, Denise says, I have to come to her room, her stamp room, and get inspired. She loves organizing as much as stamping. Oh, you're the one who lives near Asheville. Well, Denise, you should come visit my house and help me get organized because I need some help with that. Cause I have half of my stuff, well actually most of my stuff in my stamp room. And then I also have an office, which is this room where I do the videos. And I have a, like a closet with a lot more stuff that I don't like use all the time. So that is actually pretty organized. I'll have to show you that one one day. All right, so here's our bow. And then, and really the only time my stamp room is clean is when I have classes because the minute everybody leaves, I pull stuff all out all over the table and it becomes a disaster. So I clean it like the day before I have a class and that's about it. All right, so this one's gonna go right here in that little um, indention there. And then we're gonna put some pearls on here. So let's get our take your pick tool. Did you guys want to hear the other? Oh, more jokes. Yes, more jokes. Oh, I, I, you guys thought that was funny. Good. All right, let me get these pearls on and I'll tell you the other joke. All right, so I'm going to put a medium-sized pearl, whoops, in the middle. And then the little pearls just kind of like random in the corners here. Let's do one there. So that's good. I think I just did three. Yep. Yeah. All right, so there's your box. So isn't that cute? Love it, love it, love it. So then when you open it, you can put all of your cards inside. So it's pretty big. You can fit four cards, four envelopes in there. But you just have to put the cards like kind of part on this side of the indention and part on that side. So it's like kind of like that inside. All right, so there's our bag. Now for the card... Let me tell you the joke real fast. Oh, you know, I forgot. Oh, I forgot to spray it. Hold on. Let me put my scrap paper down. All right. And everybody keeps asking about this shimmer spray. So if you don't watch my videos all the time, it is alcohol, 70% alcohol, just rubbing alcohol, 70%. And you mix it with the champagne shimmer mist or Champagne Mist Shimmer Paint by Sukuniko. So it's T-S-U-K-I-N-E-K-O. And I, I know I should put the link on my blog, I mean my um, YouTube channel because everybody keeps asking about it. I have the link for the Frost White one, but not this one. So I will do that. I'll try to remember to do it today. All right, so there's our bag. Oh, I just sprayed the wrong one. Hold on. There we go. All right, and then I just got myself all sprayed. So you can see that sparkle on there. It's so beautiful. I think I'm delayed on here a little bit. Nope, okay, there we go. All right, whoops. I still haven't seen Debbie Spicer on here. Creative, <laughs> Susan says, creative mess is better than idle tidiness. Your mantra all the way from Australia, hey. I do spray just about everything. Yes, Stella is jealous. But actually, you know, Stella, I think this is exactly the same stuff that's inside of Stella. 
They're like exactly the same stuff. Because I think you could pour that inside Stella and sh it would be the same. All right, so for our card, oh, let me get my joke. All right, so this joke is from Debbie Spicer. It's called The Love Dress. So the mother-in-law stopped unexpectedly by the recently married couple's house. She rang the doorbell and stepped into the house and saw her daughter-in-law standing naked by the door. What are you doing, she asked. I'm waiting for my husband to come home from work, the daughter-in-law answered. But you're naked, the mother-in-law exclaimed. This is my love dress, the daughter-in-law explained. The love dress? But you're naked. And then, hold on, I got two pages. I had to do this in big print so I could read it. <laughs> My husband loves me to wear this dress. It makes him happy and it makes me happy. I would appreciate it if you would just leave because he will be home from work any minute. The mother-in-law was tired of all this romantic talk and left. On the way home, she thought about the love dress. When she got home, she got undressed, showered, put on her best perfume and waited by the front door. Finally, her husband got home. He walked in and saw her standing naked by the door. What are you doing? He exclaimed. This is my love dress, she replied. And he said, it needs ironing. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> All right, so to put this together, we have our, this goes on the front, so we're just gonna glue that with some green glue. All right, so you get your comedy show tonight with a card and a bag. This is a nice gift too. All right, so hope you liked that one. Oh, <laughs> Letitia said she peed in her pants almost. All right, so then after this one, we're going to put these two together and then put dimensionals on the back. I know, I thought that one was cute. I printed out a couple more. I haven't, um, they're on my phone. I haven't printed them. I uh, screenshotted them. So since I'm taping with my phone, I can't look at them but I will print them out for next time because they were really funny too. All right, so put dimensionals on the back of this and then peel that off. For some reason, my fingers are sticky. And oh, I got a postcard in the mail from Enica and I forgot to bring it in here. So I'll have to bring that next time too. All right, so this goes on the front with dimensionals, about right there. And we gotta put some pearls on that. We gotta put the inside of the card too. So this goes on with the green glue also. Oh, I got something sticky. I think I got glue on my finger. And oh, I just got it on my finger again. Okay. All right, so that's the inside of our card. That's the front. And then we gotta do a few pearls on this one too. So I'm gonna put a smaller pearl on here just because it's inside. Oh, this is what's sticky on there. And then a couple more. Only because it's the inside of the card. So you don't want too big of a pearl to go in the mail if you mail this somewhere. Um, okay, and then spritz this one. There we go. So gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't think I sprayed that one. All right. And then you just stick it in the bag with this. And there you go. All done. So what do you guys think of that project? Super easy gift for um, anybody. Oh, uh, you like that joke. <laughs> You can thank Debbie Spicer for that one. She That was her joke. Uh, thank you, guys. I'm so glad. Oh, Krista, it's your first time here. You think you'll stick around. Well, very good. Well, go make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get to get notified when I do a, um, a video. That would be awesome. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and all that stuff um, after the video. Oh, I'm so glad you guys love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm glad you liked the jokes too. <laughs> all right, so that was exactly 30 minutes. Not too bad for all that. 
All right, so I will be back Thursday. Um, probably not at 7 o'clock because I am leaving Thursday. So um, I will be on early, like probably early afternoon, maybe noonish or so. Thanks, Beth. Thanks, Lynn. Thanks, Sharon. Um, oh, I'm so glad you guys like it. All right, so I will see you then, and I will have some more cards to give away. Also, if you want a card, I have only heard from two people now out of the five or six cards that I picked on, what day was that? Saturday? No, Thursday. So go back to Thursday's video and see if you won, because um, a lot of you guys won and haven't said anything. I have got these all over myself. All right, so take care. Have a great rest of your night and I'll see you back in a couple days and um, as always thanks for watching bye bye